morning, YouTubers. I don't know where to start. <sighs> I came out here earlier and was looking at the truck, and I was like, eh, I'm going to run the wiring, and I'm going to fire this truck up today. Then I went in to get the camera with the new battery and came back out and was like, eh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because it is the Labor Day. So Labor Day usually means you don't labor. <coughs> so, uh, one thing I do have to do today, shave my head, shave my face. Because uh, I hate hair. But I try not to shave because if I, the more I shave, the faster it grows back. So, um... Yeah, I'm probably am going to do start doing wiring. Would like to hear this thing run. I'm sure you some of you guys would like to hear it run, fired up. So I think what I'm going to do is I will take some of this sheet metal sheet metal plain steel and I'm just going to see what it what it looks like in here. Obviously I'll have to bend it and shape it. Looks like I don't know if I'm gonna cut it out or what I should do. Um if I should cut the rust out and then weld this. So I would do the same thing. I would just leave a a lip around there, around the edge. And then uh, <clears throat> weld this in. Obviously I would I'd get this little shape right there. So I would just make a little cardboard mock-up and then you know bend it to its shape and then weld it in because there's not much more rust I mean, there's surface rust there but I can pretty much grind that out grind it out and uh... <clears throat> yeah, not really not looking too good back in there sorry that's loud Maybe I would take a piece and form it and tuck it in there. Because hmm. I basically would want it to come. Sorry, this video is not planned out or thought out at all. I could make that work. Basically, I would make this shape in here. So I'd cut this off a little bit in here, cut that off in here, or probably not. And then just uh, form it, shape it. Anyway, that's a later project. Uh, my main project I was going to talk to you guys about, and you guys let me know, is, as you can see, the wheels and tires are rubbing. So, I got two options here, and you guys let me know. Do I A, just get a, uh, a wheel rolling kit and roll the inside of this fender to make clearance for the wheel? Either way, I'm going to have to tub it, so I'll have to cut, do a little mini tub, probably like a, I don't know, six or eight inch tub in here. And probably over about, I don't know, maybe four inches, something like that. This way the wheel can articulate in there. So do I do that? Tubbing is going to be done anyway. That's for sure. Or do I take this bed, cut it down the center, and spread this out about four inches to compensate for this and it'll kind of be like a wide body kit 
So as you can see, it's kind of narrower than the cab anyway. What do you guys think? So for sure, this is going to get tubbed. Regardless, I'm going to tub, tub the bed. So do I cut this down the middle? And I don't know what I would do with the tailgate. Um, yeah, I don't know what I would do with the tailgate. Um, or do I just try to flare these fenders or steps or bedsides, whatever you want to call it. I know this is a stupid video and it's not going anywhere. But those are my questions. And the reason I bring that up is if I come out two inches, so this will be, be two inches out here. As you can see, it's hitting that shock hanger or the spring hanger right under here. Well, it's not hitting on this side, but it's hitting on the other side. Um, right over there. I will have to do some sheet metal work here, flare this out, and then drop it down onto the step. Um, I'm not too worried about this spot, but I'm worried about back here. So, you guys let me know. You guys tell me what you think about the bed. Split it down the side or try to flare these out. I don't think, sp or sp split it down the middle. I want to say I don't think it'll be that hard, but I think it's going to be hard. Um, just due to the fact that everything, you know, everything's, everything's in the way. Basically, this bed just needs to be wider by two inches on either side, total of four inches. And I can widen this bed with some sheet metal. I will go, I'm going to pick up a sheet of sheet metal because that stuff's too expensive to buy in little cut pieces. So, yeah, I don't know. And then obviously I'll have to raise the bed inside. The flat piece, I'll have to raise it probably like, um, I'm thinking probably like four inches. Four inches minimum so and that could be that'll be easily done with some angle iron you know because this is basically angle iron that's I think it's riveted on I see a rivet over there it's a rivet right there or maybe it's a carriage bolt I don't know but I could take that all off move it up or get some angle iron since this is all pretty rusted anyway and uh, since I cut it back there. So, just ideas, thoughts. If I go out two inches, um, I can even go out just two inches out here and not have to split it down the center. Just take some sheet metal, the same thickness, and roll it just how this is rolled. So just take the bedside apart, bring it out two inches. I don't know. This is a long video. Too long uh, of planning and thinking. So yeah, I'll probably I'll probably just post this video and uh, won't get any views. I don't care. It's long, and I'm gonna post it long video. Only watch when you're on the toilet and you ain't got nothing to do. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Subscribe below. Subscribe over here. Check out my bull one on Glenn. Watch my previous video. You guys tell me what you think. Should I TIG weld and add two inches to the side? Split it down the center? I think the side will probably be the best. You guys let me know. And then this way I can just add two inches to the tailgate to... Two inches. Two inches. You let me know. Alright guys, thanks for watching.
Sorry this video sucks. Later.